Hello there Aquarius, welcome to your reading for the week of the 1st until the 8th of April. Aquarius, I'm getting a message for you, it may be significant for someone. For you to speak life into something at this time, it may be that you, it may be anything, it could be your own healing, it could be a project that you're working on, some work that you're doing. Your guides are telling you to speak life into it. I'm picking up a... An elderly figure here it's a male ancestor a male guide or an ancestor that is telling you to speak life speak life into your work speak life into your situation align with the spirit of love okay it may you may find yourself doing some affirmations or yeah something that is highly energetic for you to keep going all right taking action where you need to but also going with your intuition so let's start with this chakra wisdom who or what is coming towards you this video will be more than 10 minutes so you can find the full video uploaded on youtube despondence third eye chakra there's something you're working on you're bringing to the world there's also another energy in the background so this person is flourishing and then there's an energy in the background that seems to be scoffing, like not happy about something. So there you are. This despondence is like an energy, okay? Something that is, uh, that may feel like it's in the dark. It's like the moon card, sort of. The moon and the world together. So as you're coming out into the world, you're working on something there are energies or people in your energy even if it's not in the physical but it's something that you're picking up with your sixth sense which is the third eye chakra and the divine is telling you at this time to speak life because what this is may be trying to pull your attention or pull your direction towards what is not going well yeah this is what i'm getting here for you to stay in your balance all right let's get more and I, in this process you're finding yourself releasing some things it may be in the form of patterns again back to that speaking life this is also a kind of a pivot a change in direction in where you're giving your attention self-worth so whatever this is could have weighed down on your self-worth or your level of how important you are how valuable you are and you're getting to see that your divine guides at this time are actually pushing you to see just how valuable you are even when you cannot see it even when um like there is no tangible evidence you keep going with that and that is your manifestation right there so whatever this is it could be that you are channeling your creativity your emotions into your work and that sounds beautiful because even the way I'm, I'm talking right now I'm channeling all of me I can feel my abdomen you know it's contracting and contracting as I'm speaking okay it's not just coming I find myself going to the level like to the surface level from my throat and then I come back again to my core area so there's something to do with that for you at this time all right let's see who or what is coming towards Aquarius seven of swords hmm Seven of Swords is strategy. It's like there is an energy of sabotage and deceit. Even with the Despondence card. Despondence is like... Huh. Yeah, I'm, I'm not picking up a good energy with this person. And you are in the arms. You see, you see that chair that came with the self-worth. That is like the arms of the divine. And this is like giving you a sort of motherly energy so in physical it can feel like rolling up in a ball or asking for help just saying i need this or i want this this is what i want and that in itself is requiring you to connect with your emotions so whoever this is or this situation they don't know what it is that 
They have no idea how you're flourishing. Okay, your own is, you're going through the energy. And to them, it looks like it's you're going the easy path. You're going on the easy path. When is not that? But that is not for them to, for you to explain to them. They could ask, but no, they're not asking. It shows more of their intentions. If they're going about it this way to cause sabotage. And when I say they, if this message resonates for you, then it's for you. You're picking up on these energies. The swords are the mind space. Mind space, something that happens in your mind space that has happened that you've been working on. This is because you are on the path of purpose. Let's get more about seven of swords. Page of Wands. Page of Wands could be a young person, Leo Sagittarius Aries. I feel like we've, we've been getting the Page of Wands for your Aquarius for some time now. The Page of Wands could be a young person, Leo Sagittarius Aries. It could also be a situation that it could be a message that is highly exciting or someone who is actually excitable, like they have a lot of energy. This could also be a twin flame connection. This is one card for a twin flame connection where it's like highly exciting. Okay, <laughs> the Hermit, Eight of Swords, and the Devil. They're flying right out, and I see the tower in the... Oh, wow. Okay. Whatever is happening here is... There's something being done in the background, Aqua. Okay, you may have Virgo in your chart, Capricorn as well, or there could be an Earth sign in your energy. The thing is, when we get some zodiac signs on the table, I don't usually trust them. Yes, it can apply to some people, okay, because the divine works in that way. I also feel for you to connect with your instincts, to connect with your intuition during this reading. So I may say, for example, Virgo, Capricorn. But it may not be that. It may just be that the divine is showing you what they're doing in the background. There is something to do with uh, sacrifice here. Okay. And they've tried to come to you in different ways. This is not one relationship. This is not only a romantic relationship. They've tried to come to you in other ways. And we have seven of swords, eight of swords. So you've left this. You're aware of this. If you're not fully aware of this because they're that good at hiding, then you can pick up on this now more than ever. There is a lot of... Uh, what I'm picking up is like a lot of layers that they've put in such a way that they can stare away your attention to something. Oh, wow. Okay, now we're circling back to what came at the beginning about changing your direction again and again to what matters. So they're good at that. And you need to trust your intuition because even readings may not bring out these energies completely. Now, we're talking about the week of the 1st until the 8th of April. There's something that they are... Be aware of energies of sabotage. Or even intrusive thoughts. Stuff that comes up in your mind space and you know that this is not your energy. You know that this is not you. Stay with it. And come back again and again to your truth. They may make you feel like someone close to you is your enemy, okay? And it's not the case. 
because of maybe this way the, there's something about someone close to you the way they are acting now this is not about enabling this is about holding space and coming back to your truth so that you keep moving in your clarity you keep your focus on what matters and that is you knight of pentacles is an energy of delay the devil knight of pentacles is given delay so you may feel like some things are delayed Tell us more about this. You see, this shows that there is a lot of stuff happening. This is a lot of stuff happening. This person is very sneaky. And what I'm the divine is telling me not to put so much power. Sometimes when we have someone like doing something that is not good. We don't know that we're giving too much power into them. This means we're giving life to them without knowing when we talk about them, when we put the blame on them, when we feel angry at them. Okay, it doesn't mean that you don't get angry. This is why, again, coming back and redirecting your attention to what matters to you at this time is so important. Because this is how you take your power back. This is how you make them lifeless. This is how you don't put life into them. So as much as this is all coming out, the divine is telling me, don't put so much effort into them. Don't give them that time and space. Acknowledge it, yes. And then come back again and again. That is your work, to keep coming back again and again. to your work because your guides they've got you <laughs> they've got you and i'm also getting a very serene energy here it's confident so it could even be a mother figure as well here or even a father figure who is nurturing yeah an ancestor guide is with you and hmm There's that tendency to go in the mind space for you, Aquarius, and it's something for you to be aware of, especially at this time. I keep finding myself going into my head space, and then I come back to my uh, belly, my abdominal area, and that is where the solar plexus is. Okay, when I find myself going into the throat, throat area, the head space, I come back again, and this is how you know you're being present. There was this quote that I saw that, if you want to know that you're being you're in a meditative state or you are present is when you know you're not when you keep understanding that you're not that is where you know you're being present so it's the absence of it it's that awareness and you are right on track you see how those cards are flying out King of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, and Three of Pentacles. They are feeling left out right now. They are not happy. Five plus three is uh, Eight Pentacles. So it's like, meanwhile, you are co-creating with Spirit. This is also your energy. The King of Pentacles is about your business. It's about your work. This is you being in your power right now. And all together they make up nine pentacles. So that is you in your abundance. With that despondence and the, the trees or what looks like branches wrapping around the figure. So there's that thing about you being in your abundance and this is how they perceive you. And because the kind of protection that you have is serene, it doesn't need walls. It doesn't need walls. That is not for you. And the divine is putting you in disguise. It's like the divine is hiding you. There's an energy of being hidden here. So you may be in isolation as well. Justice. And that is part of your karmic justice. 
there may be a Libra in your energy too. And this Eight Pentacles is, is given like they're looking for you. You see, with the Hermit and this Five of Pentacles and Three, they're feeling left out right now. Feel left out of your energetic space. Yeah, there's something about feeling left out and them looking. And they may be looking for you on the energetic level. You've got this, like you've won this. Yeah, I'm getting victory. A lot of energy of victory here. Okay. Wow. This same phrase came out for Sagittarius. Turn that shit around. I keep getting that. Turn that shit around. Don't give them life. Don't give them power. Don't pour life into them. Redirect your attention. This is the time to redirect your attention. And that is exactly what your justice is about. Is that ability to do that. You know that super villain that we talk about. Or the villain in uh, the superhero stories. You're both the superhero and the super villain. The super villain will not be a super villain if we don't give life into them. We acknowledge them, yes. But we don't give them that power. Oh, talk about Nine of Pentacles and it's here. Mm. Queen of Cups. Keep going with your intuition. Be aware of something that may feel sabotaging. And it's going to come around your throat chakra, your mind space as well, where you may feel moved to make some drastic action. Okay, it may also come with some energy of delay. Maybe that's what will may push you to take some drastic action. And the divine is saying, redirect your attention again and again. Hold space for it and stay in your serene nature, in that confidence, that silent confidence that you're in. The Hierophant. There may be a commitment or a past commitment in question. The Hierophant is also your spiritual journey. Your connection with spirit. Alright, one more message for Aquarius. Ace of Wands. Some revelation, clarity, some new energy. This co-creation and your expansion is bringing you more clarity to keep going. It's giving you energy to keep going. Where you need to rest, of course you rest. There's a picture that is coming to mind as I say this. It's like you're on a journey and... Let's see, there are some potholes on the road. And the best way to go about those potholes is by going slow and steady. You're still moving. You're still getting to your destination. So the best way to go right now is steady. Slow and fast. They will come at the times they need to. Talk about success, chariot. This is you moving in your balance. And talk about a road. So this may be significant for some of you, like driving, even when you're driving. Or, yeah, any form of trans transportation, even walking. This could also be about your own journey as a traveler in this life. Your own journey within. What do we have from angels and ancestors for Aquarius? High 
High Priestess, Harness Mystic Power, Spirit Fox, Trust Your Talents in Changing Times. Yeah, there is a fox in your energy. There's someone who is so good at shifting and they feel like this. They feel like they're able to do that. So that's the shadow aspect of the fox is that shift on your own part. You have this power as well. High priestess. The high priestess can transform into anything. Drum. Dream and journey. I'm getting to read drum first. Drum is a warrior symbol. One, two, four. Journey inwards to uncover insights and information that will be important for your path. Then follow the guidance. The, this drum is inspired by the sacred drum of the Sami, the indigenous peoples of northern Norway, Sweden and Finland. In shamanic traditions in all four corners of the world, the drum is recognized as the main tool used by medicine men and women to direct their will and aid meditation. A drum beat can become hypnotic and send those listening into an alter, altered state. Wow, they may be using music as well, okay? Like the drum, ba, ba, ba. Yeah, that is what it feels like. A drum beat can become hypnotic and send those listening into an altered state that can allow them to journey to the spiritual realms and meet their guides. When the drum card appears in a reading, there are opportunities for you to dream or to bring an inner vision into reality. You're very connected to the other world at this time. The wisdom and intelligence of the earth and her magic surrounds you. The drum, which echoes the sound of Mother Earth's heartbeat, has cleared the cobwebs and dust from your inner vision. What you have seen in your dreams and inner vision is not imagination but guidance, particularly if it has been coming to you repeatedly and has the potential to become reality. Dreams come true. Know it and live it. A bit of high priestess. With the Hierophant and High Priestess, you may be a spiritual teacher. Yeah, I feel like there's a spiritual journey that you're on. The High Priestess is 45. Align with the light and focus on all things positive. You are a mystic with the capacity to connect with energies that go beyond the human senses. Within you is a force of magic that is directed by your will. There is, an, there is an opportunity for you to rise up at this time, but it requires dedication and discipline. You are being guided to look at what you are working on or at the situation before you and determine where your priorities lie. I'm going to read that again. You are being guided to look at what you are working on or at the situation before you and determine where your priorities lie. If you are unable to figure that out, you must use your intuition and discernment to focus on what will bring you closer to your goal and the happiness of everyone involved. When this card arrives, it's also important for you to check in with your intuition as it will give you, the, as, as it will give you guidance that will be important for your growth. Okay, Aqua, thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you with many more videos. If this message resonates, please like, share, comment, subscribe, and do take care. Much love. Bye-bye.